Hi guys, it's Dawn here from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? Today, we are going to do something I think is a little different. I haven't seen it done before. I don't know if it's been done before or not. But it doesn't matter because this is what we're going to do today. Oh, shame on her. My goodness, nudity. But it is art and so you'll have that. Um, I did not paint this. I found this at a thrift store for $3.00. And looks like this is four of 23. I don't know what that means, um, but it's not a signed piece of art. It does look pretty amateur, better than I could do probably. But beside that, I just wanted this colorful canvas to play with. It's a big one. Um, I don't know what the dimensions are on it, but it's, it's like this 12, maybe 20, 12, maybe 18 by 20, 18 by, I don't have any clue doesn't say and I don't care but what we're going to do today is first we're going to pull it off of the oh I just um got Gracie's um I meant maybe I should go get us I think I should go get a um I'm kind of hoping I can just pull it off like that but I bet you I'm going to need a screwdriver let's try to do it without a screwdriver we're going to pop it off the staples here watch out Gracie and we're going to have a play with this today we are going to use this canvas to do some painting on and then we are going to cut this canvas up to use as ATCs. Who said you have to make ATCs on paper? I didn't, nobody, I don't play by the rules and <laughs> so we're not going to play by the rules. And um, so I thought, well, why not use an old canvas and make them and then, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll mail fine in an envelope, just like a paper one. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I thought, why not? And plus, we'll play on a little bit of a different medium. You know what I mean? So that'll be fun, I think. I'm, you know, I know that we're paper girls, but um, we don't have to to be always paper girls. Canvas is fun, I think, and I want to play with canvas more. So that's what we're going to do. So as soon as I can get off here. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to be right back and... We will, I will have it off of the uh, board here. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and said canvas is completely and without any injury removed from the, um, this border. And there's some pretty sharp little thingies still on there, but we've got it safely, hopefully, out of the way. I'll dispose of that later. Probably put that in my... Um, my recycle bin. Here's the gray gray. You want to turn around so everybody can see the better part of you? There you go. Here's the gray gray. And now what I'm going to do, since this is canvas, I am going to have so much fun. No, I'm going to um, be silly. And I also found for, look at this, for $1.99 today, I found this pack of um, um, strips. And I thought that's a great little piece to have so I think that we're going to go through here and maybe strip some up and put it down like that and that and that because I probably won't use that for anything else maybe that's what I should do is find the ones in here that I probably won't use for anything like that and this that's what we'll do we'll keep some of the better ones and maybe put the ones that I probably won't use on here You know, like some of the ones with the country looking, country looking, um, um, these are pretty. Some of these are really pretty and I'm going to use these. We are going to play with a lot of canvas, you guys, but right, look at that, how cute is that? It's pretty, but right now we're just going to go through here and pick out some of the ones that maybe aren't so, that's really awesome. Gracie likes it too. There's some pretty, pretty stuff in here. Maybe some polka dot. Probably put that in there. These I can use for other stuff. Not a big, um, now I don't know how much I'm not gonna need. I'm not gonna need all this, but I'm going to go ahead and just start with those. These are pretty right here. I'm not gonna use those, because those are pretty. I like those. What else do we have in here? Let's just take it. Oh, some batik. Is that it? Look at that. That was worth, look at that, a fall leaf. 
Look at these fall leaves, you guys, just in time for fall. And somebody sewed these. Oh, that's so cool. A little fall journal, anybody? So cute. What is this? Just some brown. Nice brown cotton. I love cotton. You know, cotton is the easiest to work with, in my opinion, which doesn't mean a lot. But isn't it? Oh, look at some toile. It's really, really cool. So I'm loving on this. Gracie, no, no. Gracie, no, no. Okay, and then some brown thread even. So, okay, let's put these back in here. I have to clean that up. No, Gracie, no. No, Gracie, no. No, Gracie, no. She's like, plastic. I want plastic. She likes her plastic. I don't know what it is. I wonder if this can tear if we should just cut it. Um... I think we'll tear if we can, we'll tear pieces. Yeah, that's better, we'll tear. It'll give us more um, texture. So, and maybe we'll just tear as we go. I don't need to sit here and do this. Um, and I'm gonna cut them in kind of smaller, smaller pieces. I don't care if they're thready or whatever. So if you guys want to fast forward ahead of me, you can. It's okay, I get it. But uh, And I'm going to use Mod Podge for this, which just makes me really happy. I just don't feel like I've been using my Mod Podge at all. And I need to get out my Mod Podge more. Gracie, I'll probably find a place to go sit here pretty soon. So we've got material. We're going to put all the material down. Then we're going to put down some paper. Then we're going to put down some paint. And then we're just going to... And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use my um, prompts or not. Probably not. But, and I don't know if I'm going to actually do ATCs. I might do one. But this could be a long time. So this might be part one and part two. How's that? We'll see how it goes. I'm not trying to make everything difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and be right back when these are all ripped up. Be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. I have a, quite a little stack. And they're all different sizes and shapes and colors. And we are going to move Gracie again, move this way. Maybe right there, honey. There you go. Good girl. And then we are going to start laying down with our, uh, our um, trusty Mod Podge. And get, go ahead and get comfortable, Gracie. Good girl. And we're going to just go for it, you guys. Oh, my word. I'm excited. This is fun. I don't even know what it's going to look like or feel like, but I just have a feeling it's going to feel pretty cool. So, in the... Um, just to be modest, we're going to go ahead and... Um, yeah. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about anybody getting offended by the woman's... Which McCullets. So we are gonna yeah. Put those there. Okay. And so we're just gonna be mod podging fools. And I just love it because I haven't in so long. Now I don't know what this is, but I'm assuming it's acrylic. And um I mean I don't see it moving. It's obviously not watercolor and it doesn't look like oil to me, although like again, I'm not a I am not any kind of a um, paint expert at all. But, but yeah, we're gonna just, we're gonna just paint, we're just gonna glue and just have a ball. I just couldn't, I want, I, what I did was I bought a few of these canvases at a thrift store because I'm like, I don't, I, they're expensive. Even at the thrift store, they had a stack of them for $25. I'm like, no. And they were all like one size. And I was thinking, well, I, I do want to play with canvas, but I want them all different sizes. You know, I want to try my hand at different sizes. So then that's why I, I picked this up. And then I found a couple other ones that were already used. And I thought, well, that's the way to do it, you know. Um. It's funner, you know? Like, this is fun because, yeah. It's funner. Is that a word? It's more fun. 
freaking crazy. She's like, what are you doing with all that stinky, yummy glue? Stinky, yummy glue. Just stick around, Gracie. Don't get stuck in the glue, but just stick around. Stick around, kitty, kitty. I got you, boo. I'm getting all, I'm kind of taking the strings off, even though I don't probably care if there's strings. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so I thought this would be fun, and it will do, what we'll do is we'll just cut up, um, actually I want this blue up here on the yellow. We'll um, cut it up into ATCs. We're going to have to, you know, it's going to be probably kind of uneven, you know, but that's all right, right? We don't care. It's going to be fun. Canvas ATCs. Why not? You've seen them round. You've seen them on just about every other thing. So let's just try it this way. Why not? Why the heck not? So I've cut them all in different sizes, big and long and, you know, so like a three inch square here. Actually, that's more like a two and a half inches in it. I don't know. But yeah. Then after this, we will add some, um, actually, I want to take this off a little bit. After this, we'll add some uh, stamping and spraying and you name it. We're going to do it. So, thought I'd give you guys a break from my, my media girls. <laughs> but I'm not done with media girls. Not even close, you guys. I mean... I love the ones I'm seeing on Facebook. My God, you guys are so talented. Super talented. Thank you so much for sharing. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited. So, um, I can't wait to do more. Of course, of course. So, yeah. We will, we will. We will, we will, we will. Actually, I'm going to move this off here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. I think this will be fun I'll cut up now I don't want to completely eliminate this person's color that's why I'm kind of you know trying to use the color too as we go So what have you guys been up to? Let's see, what have I been doing? I finally got a scan done this morning and I'm nervous about the outcome, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. Um, I loved my scan um, technician or my, I should, I should say my ultrasound expert. Teresa, if you're listening, I really, I was so happy to see you this morning because this is the second time I've had had her and I'm like, She's the nicest person. And I was like, I hinted, let's go to lunch. And I even told her about the channel because I just really liked her. You know, I never usually share what I, you know, what I do with people I meet like on the streets, very seldom. Um, but I liked her a lot and I didn't meet her on the street either. So um, she was very sweet. So yeah, so I hope you're watching Teresa. Teresa has a cuddle bug and she has a cricket. And she has a messy craft room, so she fits right in. <laughs> so funny. We're all so funny, you guys. Oh, yeah, let's put it on this side, lighten it up a little bit. Shall we put it like, like, like that? No, Gracie, you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. For those that are new watching, this is my kitty, Gracie. And she's usually right here holding down the fort with me. See? She's literally holding down the fort. She's my sweet baby, and I adore her. And she's going to the doctor. I can only handle one drama at a time, so I'm waiting for these um, my um, my results before I take her in. I know that sounds selfish, but I just I just I don't know, you guys. I can only hand, handle so much, and I just feel like one at a time, 
one at a time, right, Gray? She doesn't want to know either right now. Actually, I just have a feeling they're going to probably try to put her on a, a good diet, which is a good idea if she'll eat it. Um, but I want, I want to get her blood tested. There she goes. I definitely want to get her blood tested. Um, she does have a little heart murmur, but um, I just want to make sure that she's okay. But I can't do it right now. It's You know how like when you're on a plane and they say, put your face mask on yourself? That's kind of how I feel like what I'm doing. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to keep us afloat right now, and that means me get make sure I'm healthy. It's been very scary. I just have had so many weird, weird things, you know? Maybe we do need some more colors on here. Maybe we do need to cut up some more. Nah, I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and just roll with this for now. Use all these colors up. We can make it work. Make it work, people. I'm going off the edge a little bit because I like to cut and, you know, leave it. So I will still cut around the edge like this, but I like to have it off the edge some, you know, in some spots. Yeah. Just like you do stamping, you kind of go off the edge a little bit so that it looks more natural. At least that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So, yeah. So I did a little thrifting today. I found these. Um, what else is new? I think what else is new? We went to a a, a restaurant here called the um, Cornbread Cafe. If you look it up, it's a vegan cafe. And drive-in diners and dives, Guy, Guy Fierro went there. And he loved it. So we thought we'd try it. And we loved it. We split a moody 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 sandwich i have no idea what it was but my kid picked it so and it was really good and then they had some nachos that we split um fake everything fake cheese and all that so but it was really good i couldn't believe it we were both like this is really good so we'll probably go back for sure or shizzle and um yeah Kind of fun. We're checking out Eugene. She hasn't heard back from the place that she, um, that she, um, what do you call it? Interviewed with yet, but I told her she didn't go on Monday. And I'm seriously going to start looking for a job, you guys. I mean, I, can't, I know I keep saying I'm not going to, then I say I'm going to, then I say I'm not going to, but it's like, I just really kind of feel like I should and want to, you know, get a job. I mean, I love what I'm doing, but, you know, I, I also really want to, I, I think I want to work. I want to kind of need to, you know, especially with her here, you know. I mean, my expenses have kind of went up, so, yeah. And I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. So, let's turn her a minute, shall we? Give her a turn. There we go. Just kind of look at her this way for a second. Yeah. Get a new perspective. A new perspective. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a bust or not, but I'll tell you what. We're going to have fun trying. It's always, like I always tell you, it's just about making the mess. And just being in the moment. And this is really kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I like the different texture than paper right now. Loving it. Loving it. It's like all these strings over here. And if there's strings on it, it wouldn't be bad. But I prefer not to have some right now. There she is. I don't know what she's doing, but she's been a funny kitty. She's been really funny. And a kind of an odd way. So I don't know. 
she's just down there. But she's been eating so much. And um, I thought, geez, maybe she has a tapeworm. But she doesn't, because you'd know that, right? She, uh, she is my, my cat, not my kid. <laughs> so, yeah, it's funny. Really odd. But the vet will tell us. The vet will tell us what's going on. And I'm hoping my problem is just stress. You know, I really do. I think, and I think it might just be, just might be stress. Cross your fingers, that's all it is, guys. Otherwise, I have no clue. No clue. I, I thought I made some little tiny ones, but I guess they're not as small as I thought. You know? Yeah, they're not as small as I thought they were. I've been so careful about not covering her face. Eventually, we're going to have to do that. Eventually. So if anybody from Eugene is watching this and this is your painting, thank you. <laughs> thank you for a great base to play with. I appreciate it. Thank you for not just throwing it in the trash either. That would not be good. No, no, no. I'm doing uh, strings everywhere. Go ahead and fast forward if you're bored, guys. I'm just kind of chilling and chatting a little bit with you. And I'm doing laundry, if you heard that. I see my daughter is. Daughter's doing laundry today. I did a lot. Uh, not a lot. A little yesterday. Boy, those new high efficiency washers, aren't they something? Just something else, you guys. They take an hour. They don't use much water. You're like, how can this possibly be clean? It's just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I am not kidding. Oh, Gracie found my bag. There must be something in there she wants. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to do a few more small pieces here and there, and then we're going to add some music sheet. And then we're going to dry it, and then we're going to spray paint and paint and just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Gracie's looking at Lauren's door like, why aren't you, why is your door closed? Lauren likes her door closed because she listens to her music when she, when she colors. That's another thing. We found her some more coloring books. Oh, I've got to show you what she colored me. Oh, for me. Oh my God, you guys, I love it so much. I'll put it on Facebook. She's one of those people that can just color and doodle like comes naturally to her. The borders you see, or the board, just came right out of her head. Me, I can't doodle or to save my noodle. I can't doodle to save my noodle. Not fair. Just not fair. This is kind of a fun thing to do with some scraps, right guys? Yeah. I love it. All right, bye face. Bye your face. Bye lady. Thanks for the, thanks for the memories. All right, there we go. I think that's good, right, for now? And uh, let's see. Another polka dot. I think, I think this is pretty, pretty good. I think it's pretty balanced as far as the material goes, or the fabric. Sorry, 
but we'll save these for another one, right? We've got plenty. Now let's add some music sheets for some more back texture. Yeah, small pieces in now. But yeah, that's what we're doing, small pieces. And we'll start on, what should I do this? This way. Ah, there we go. Just like so. And we might have to take some time to let this dry. I'll blow dry it a little bit, but I won't uh, I won't make you do that with me. I won't make you do that with me. Yeah. But I always appreciate you hanging out with me, you guys. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun having you here. Chilling. Chilling with me. Kind of double lapping over some of these just to cut up some of the, the, um, you know, the shape. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, per and it doesn't have to be perfect. Imagine that. My kind of stuff, right guys? my kind of stuff now there's a goober on there and we're gonna get rid of it there's here comes speaking of goobers hey gray hey gray you don't want drops though you don't want drops can i make sure that that's not happening uh, 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 no 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 you don't want to walk on there gracie honestly you don't that won't be good and if you find a string or two, just pull it out. I'm sure I'm going to have some because I'm messy like that, but oh well, too bad, so sad. We'll just call it texture, <laughs> right? Look at all that texture. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Mm, that's a pretty music sheet piece. Mm -hmm. oh, the hell? I'm globbing on the um mod podge in most of the places because if it covers the paint and it'll make the new paint um, I might get out, um, uh, who knows what I might use, um, gelato. I don't know, you know, so by adding a lot of gesso or gesso, a lot of this to it, well, then it'll make it the next layer of paint lay down real well. You know what I mean? I think, I hope, it's my thought process anyway. Yeah, and to cut these, I think I'm just going to use scissors, or I might use a roller. What do you call it? A um, a wheel? Is that what it's called? Or you know, one of those fabric rolls things? You know, what I mean. you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. And a mat. So, let's see how that goes. Yeah. Well, that goes. So this is fun. The next time you're at the thrift store, now you have something to go go there for. You can tell your husband, we need to go to the thrift store. Why? Because I need to get an old painting. What? <laughs> Can hear why? They're usually horrible. Because I want to repaint it. <laughs> okay, dear. 
I chose a big one, although there's lots of little ones there, but I chose a big one because I want to get a lot of ATCs out of it. You know what I mean? It's starting to look pretty cool. If you ask me, nobody asked me. I'm just saying. Just saying. I wish you could feel this canvas, you guys. Just cool. Just, I've been dying to get my fingers on some. You know, we're all very tactile people. That's why we play with paper and stuff. Well, that one wants to go there, that can go there. So, you know what I mean? So, that's kind of why I couldn't wait to do this. You know? We're all very tactile. I sure hope my daughter gets into the arts because I didn't start playing with paint until I was 55 years old, you guys. 55. That's a shame. It is. It's just a shame. I mean, not that I think I could have been any better than I am now. It's just that I could have been enjoying myself that much longer. That's what I, I think is such a shame, you know? That's the shame of it. That is the shame of it. Excuse me. Oh, and can I just share something with you? I swear, my kid, the other day, it was like, I couldn't believe it, um, yesterday. So we get up, and I don't remember what we were doing or what was going on, but I said, you know, I, she says, Mom, I'm going to do make omelets or something. I don't remember how the conversation came around. And I said, I said, why don't, why don't you make omelets? And she goes, yeah. She goes, do you want one? I go, really? She goes, yeah, I'll make you one. So she was in there. She made me an omelet, you guys, that was to die for. Really, chopped vegetables, everything. I'm like, who is this person? And um, I'm, I'm sitting there, and I told her, I was sitting there, and I said, Lauren, do you realize that I've been waiting 20 years for this moment? It was just such a moment, you guys. It really was. It was just such a wonderful moment. I still can't get over it. It was just so nice when your daughter makes you a hot meal. You know, it was wonderful. I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. And we've been walking together every morning. And it's weird having her back because she's such an adult now, you know? And she can come and go as she pleases. And yeah, it's just it's just real strange, but it's it's in a wonderful kind of way, you know? I feel it's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool, guys. Pretty darn cool. I'm pretty... I was just like, wow. I w I'm still like, wow. That happened. She made my breakfast, you know. And then today she made us tuna sandwiches, which was really cool. Because I told her, you do that and I'll make the salmon tonight. We're trying to eat well. Tonight we're having salmon, but we are having corn on the cob. But I'm telling you... I found a way to do corn on the cob, you guys. It'll just block, knock your socks off. Let me tell you. Right now, I'm going to tell you how to do corn on the cob. You'll never do it any other way. Okay, you, t you take the corn, of the, cob, uh, on the, the corn on the cob that you buy, just unshuck in the husks and everything, and you put that corn on the cob, I don't care how big it is, in the microwave and microwave it for four minutes. Then you cut the fat end off, and then you squeeze the skinny end and let the, let it come out like a banana, and it comes out clean without any of the, oh, look what I did, without any of the stuff on it. You guys, it's the best. For every piece of corn that you add to it, you add two minutes. So one piece is four minutes, two pieces is six minutes, and I heard it said don't put more than two pieces in at a time. And, I mean, it's like the perfect corn on the cob. There's no big boiling, boiling pot of water to wait for. <laughs> There's, an, I mean, it comes right out and already uh, cleaned up and shut, you know, with, um, you know, all the hair and stuff off of it or whatever you call that fiber stuff. I mean, it's the best corn on the cob. And so since I found that way to do it, I have been addicted to corn on the cob. And I know that it's not the most diet friendly food, but we put spray butter on it. And, and you know what? Yeah, we're, we're going to eat our corn on the cob. I'm <laughs> just saying. We're going to have it. So we're going to have it. 
I'm not going to stop eating corn on the cob. Plus, we walk every morning. We've been walking. I'm really proud of her. She's been walking with me. So that really makes me happy. She's walking with her mom. And she's getting me in shape. I'm getting her in shape. We're a good team. Yeah, it's really working out nice, you guys. It's really, it's really cool. So far, so good. I mean, there's been, you know, a few moments, but, you know, they will be on her mom, you know? But I pretty much try to leave her, leave her be, you know, try to, because she is an adult. She's 20 years old. She'll be 21 in May. And, you know, I'm not going to, even at this point, you know, like she'll have a glass of wine with me or beer or whatever. I mean, and she'll have it with me and she won't go out, you know, so I'm happy. I don't mind. She's at home. She can do what she wants. Only a sip or only one. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not crazy. Not crazy. In Europe and in some states, I think she's legal. No, is it some state? Some In Europe, she's legal. I don't know. We don't make a habit out of it. Let me just say that right now. Because that doesn't go well. She's not a big beer drinker or wine drinker anyway. She's not a big drinker, I don't think. But it's nice to sit down and have a beer with her. You know? She did it at my brother's house and... She handles it well. She doesn't overdo or anything stupid, you know. And I think it makes her feel responsible and adult. And some of you out there are probably going to get hate mail. You do, let your 20-year-old drink? <laughs> no, I don't let her drink. I let her have occasionally one or two because we're home and she's not going anywhere. And I don't see any problem with it. So that's okay, guys. Please don't don't get down on me. It's my decision. She's my kid. She's an adult. I think if you treat them like an adult, they're going to act like an adult. If you sit there and, you know, do it and then don't, you know, it's going to be, it gets weird. So, you guys, I think that actually looks really cool. What do you think? All right. So now I am going to clean my brush. <gasps> Did I just actually say that? Yeah, because I don't want it to get all icky. I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to come back. We're gonna. I'm gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back and do some more painting. So I'll be right back. Hi guys, we are back. It's dry. What I actually did, and it's really dry, is I stuck it on my car in the garage. I had some stuff to do anyway while it was drying, so I made it a productive uh, moment. But anyway, um, so now what I want to do is I just want to spray paint on it. So. I have these spray paints behind me. So we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna make a big fat mess with those. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put this over here. Just one of my old flower sack type things and just so it doesn't go too far. And then I'm just gonna start spraying and I don't even care what, what we're doing. So, you know, just like so. Let's just get some more texture going on in this baby right here. Ooh, pretty. That's good. I uh, probably should let that dry, huh? Before I add more, or should I try to dry it? Maybe I'll dry it. Well, let me add another one that won't make mud. So that was what? Blue? That was this one? Um, what's this? Purple? I'm going to add blue. I'm going to add more, another kind of a blue. What's this one? Ooh, okay. And just more blue and green, maybe. This is that green ink. I need some ink sprays. What do you put in there to make it go again? What ink? <laughs> Never mind. I did not. I did not just ask you that. All right. Um, because you can't put water in it. Alcohol or something. I don't know. I could just shake it on there. But no. Let's not say we get okay. What's this? No. Here's a green. I'm just gonna redo my um there's that for now. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna let that dry. I am going to go ahead and put it on the garage, the car again, because guys, that was so fast. I mean, it was a few minutes, but, um, 
I was busy doing something, so, but I have a feeling if I sit here and try to blow dry this, it'll take a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. We are back, me and Trader Jose. Isn't that funny? It's Trader Joe's beer, light beer, from Mex imported from Mexico, so it's called Trader Jose, and it's really quite good, so cheers. It's a uh, old beer 30 here. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I know a lot of you don't drink, but I do. So I wanted to sponge some stuff on here now. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Because, well, because cause that's just the next thing we're going to do. We're going to sponge some of this. It's a Dollar Tree. Is it a Dollar Tree or is it a 99 cent store? Jot, it's a Dollar Tree. Can you believe it? I haven't seen this in a long time, so when I bought it, I was glad that I did. Um... I don't know if they have it anymore, and it's not bad. I don't know how opaque it is, but we will be finding that out right now. Now, these are wet. Pretty wet, too. So let me squeeze them. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. A little sponge, a little sponge action going on. I wonder if I should smear it. I guess I, could, I probably could, but in some spots I will, in other spots I won't. How's that? Yeah, there we go. I just want to make a mess. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. It's not very opaque. See, it is pretty transparent, but that's okay. So let's put some of that red on and let that sit up for a minute. How about some, how about some orange? Do I have any orange? What's this? Ooh, but that's not opaque enough. That's the same stuff. I really want to have some, this is another cheapy one. Let's see how it goes. I'm trying to use up all my paint, you guys. Not all of it, but you know what I mean? A lot of it. This like looks like it might be the same brand, but yet in a in a um actually this was the 99 cent store, actually. So what we got here? Oh, it looks a little thicker. Sorry about that. Noise. Let's go ahead and sponge that on. I think once we get some black in here and all that, we'll do better. We'll do more better. So we've got some sponging going on. I'm not even positive what we're going to do next. Honestly, you guys, I have no clue. Just trying to create some kind of texture on here. And that you won't see the um, the woman or, you know, because it will get cut up. And I'm thinking we might make tags and ATCs out of this because it's a big thing. So I might go for that. So, yeah, that's good. Let's let that dry. I love these little seafoam sponges I picked up at a thrift store not too long ago. Uh, shall we put on some black? How about let's do some stenciling now? It's my phone. Let's put on some stenciling. Let's dry this a little bit. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. That's kind of dry. Not not perfectly, but uh, dry enough. I mean, here. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. Tags and ATCs out of recycled canvas. I love it. Okay, so I want to just hit it with a couple of these stamps right, really quick. Um, 
These are Stampin' Up! stamps, 2000, the year 2000, so they're still copyright. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, I'm getting pissed. It's kind of funny. Okay, so then we'll just go ahead and stamp these up a little bit. Stamp them up just a pinch, you know, just to get just a little bit of something on there. Not a lot. I don't, I'm not trying to read it. I'm just trying to make a upside down now. There we go. I'm making marks, what I'm doing, you guys, really. Making marks. All right, let's do a couple of love. Love, love, love. This upside down. That's good. I think that's good. All right, that's enough. And now I want to go over it with some um, some black paint. I could use ink, but I think I'm going to stick with the black paint. And we're going to do a few, uh, just some what are we going to do? I'm going to do my I need something kind of, I kind of want to just use this with some paint. So I'm going to, not ink, but with some paint. Actually, some black gesso. I'm going to get that. I still have ink. Oh, I have glue and everything else on my hands right now. All right, let's grab some black gesso. Oh, how about a little bit of this, too? That would be pretty. Add some shine to it. Ooh. Gesso right here. Not a lot, just a little. Watch, I say not a lot, just a little one. Watch me go to town, guys. Watch me go to town. See? To town. She goes to town. To town. Good. That's all I wanted. Seriously, that's all I wanted. All right. Actually, more than I wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. Just a pinch, pinch, pinch. Not all of them are going to have it, and that's fine. So now we should dry that, and then we should go over it with some of this gold. And then I've got one more thing I want to do. And then I'm going to call this done. I mean, it's not... I mean, because the person... I mean, it already has all that blue and yellow behind it, and... So that's pretty cool. It doesn't take me long to make a mess of a canvas, does it, you guys? Especially when it's already started out with some mess on it. But one more thing, or two more things I want to do. I actually think I'm going to use the sponge and do it with a sponge again. And I don't know if I'm going to use this or not because it's kind of hard to get out. Oh, I just washed the other sponge, but I don't know where I put it. So, ugh. How do I get this off of there? Smoosh it. Do I get it out like that? Will that work? I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to have to go rinse it. I'm being super lazy. Super, super lazy. You, super duper. Let's see. I oh, know that should work. Okay. Most of it's gone. So let's try to get some of this on here with this and this. What do you think? Think it'll work? Well, we can only try. This is kind of getting drying. So. 
Oh no, that's fine. That's perfect. Good, because I really want to use some of this up. I don't want. I don't want to go bad. Oh, I love it. I love it. probably contaminating that, right? Oh well. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. I'm going to try to use that up within, as soon as I can. Because I just want to make sure I do. Okay, I think that's good, you guys. All right. Good as gold, as they say. I don't know who they are, but that's what I say. Good as gold. Okay, I'll wash that. So that's good. Let's just give it a little hit with a heat gun. And then I've got one more thing I want to do before we start cutting this bad boy up. I really like it. I really do. We will be doing this again. Or I will. I hope you do, too. Good way to use, um, you know, canvas. It's fun. Recycle. Gives it a nice big piece of paper too, or I'm sorry, a big piece of a work area. Okay, so there's that. Now I just have one more thing. So hold on. I have to find it. What's this? And this is it. Here's some white paint. I'm gonna splatter. That's what I want to do now. I want to do a white splatter. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Let me do that. And over there. It's over here. And then we'll find my fan brush somewhere. I know I have one. But finding it, here's one. Nice big one. All right. So we're good. So now what we do. We got a little bit of water right here. Some water. Put gesso in it. Or not gesso, but Mod Podge. But do we care? Nah, we don't care. Let's put this under here and protect it a little bit. All right. Let's just get this guy some white splats. And then I want to call this done. And then we're going to cut it up. At least part of it into ATCs. And then maybe part of it into some tags, you know, different size tags. So I'll say half for ATCs and half for tags. I don't know. Why not, right? So, yeah. There we go. Some white paint. A little bit of water. Smush that and make it ju juicy. I think that's juicy enough. Maybe a little juicy. Er. Not be too juicy now, but that's all right. And then... We just, oh, I always do overdo this, but we'll try not to. Oh, I told you. I overdo it. There we go. So probably don't do it. Um, there we go. Perfect. Don't do it like those big spots. Um, do it off and then do it on because I wanted these littler spots. So that's perfect. Okay, so let me let this dry and... Um, what a waste of white paint. If I have anything else to splat. I don't. Sure love it though. Look at me. I'm still doing it. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey guys, we are back and I think it's dry and now it's time to cut it up. And what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do, is we're going to, I think it's dry. I hope these big, Lobs are dry. They're dry enough. It's been outside and we had dinner and everything already. So I think it's dry. Um, here comes gray. I think it looks great. I'm going to use the tag side on this side. I'm going to use this for the ATC side. 
So basically what I'm going to do, try to do, is cut it in half. So let's find the half, the middle. And so this is the middle. Hi, Gray. Pretty much the middle. Let's see how this roto roller thingy works. Is that the middle? Yeah, that's close enough. I don't know. Uh, but let's try this. I don't particularly like these. When I was cutting my um, fabric with it, uh, it just keeps popping out, you know, back up. So I don't know how well it's going to do with this, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. So let's go ahead and... Oh, did you just hear Gracie sneeze? Gracie just sneezed. If this doesn't work, I don't think it will either because I'm not feeling like anything. We're going to use our... Itch nay on that. We're going to use our... This knife, which I really do need to get a sharper, sharper. Where was the middle again, right here? Okay, that's close enough. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't, guys, we're going to use a scissor. It's no big deal. Let's try it. I think this one's working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's working well. Hi, Gray. Well, remember, because there's more than one, there's material on here. So, yeah. The layer's that. It actually sounded better than it did, but. I'm always afraid this thing's gonna slip, cut me. There we go. So there's that. So let's start with tags. Oh my gosh, so cute. I wonder, will you think the chopper will cut this or no? Shall we try it? Let's try it. I don't think it's sharp enough. But I mean, all we can do is try. I'm just curious, let's try it. Let's try it together, shall we? Gray, we'll try it down here. here. Move your little table. Tail, we don't want to lose a tail in the. We don't want to lose the tail in the making of these canvas pieces. Let's see what happens. Oh my god! It's pretty good until you get to what? Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry. Well, this part of my, my chomper has never been sharp down in here, so I know that. So, anyway, I'm not going to use it because I know that part of it's not sharp. But it would do it if it was sharp, you guys. So, FYI, and by the way, good to know, right? Oh, these won't work for sure. Here we go. Save that for something. All right, let's just go ahead and use my scissors. Because everything else is a bust, in my opinion. So let's put this here. And I just want to do like a couple of, of tags, like this size. Right? And so we'll just trace. Let's trace. Is that right? Yes. Let's just trace. Because why not? I like to cut it. And this is kind of fun. So let's do that. Stay there. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. You know that. So I'm not tripping. Awesome. Awesome blossom. I wish I had a thing for my hair right now, but I don't. I wonder if this will work. Hypocrite. Being silly. It's actually working. Okay, good. I'm really funny about my um, uh, 
care of getting in my eyes when I'm trying to work. Sorry if I'm out of frame. I don't know. Boy, this is hard to cut with these scissors. But these poor scissors have been through sorry and embellishments and <laughs> you name it. So I don't consider these fabric fabric, but I consider them more fabric than my others. I need the scissors. I'll get some. Again, not having to be perfect. Why don't I just leave that on there? There. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is fun. That's a fun tag. So I wonder how it'll, the hole will punch. How do you think? Can we put something down on that? That is pretty. Let's try to poke a hole. Let's use this. I know this will poke a hole. This is my trusty dandy. It's not low enough. Let's see. Hopefully. How do you? I'm lousy, aren't I? There we go. There we go. That's kind of low. Perfect. Look at that. I poked a nice hole. See? Oh, this is fun, you guys. Canvas tags. And then you can just put words on them or whatever you want. Let's take another big one. And then keep these straps for your fatty patties. Right? Just saying. And I like this bottom part. I'm not cutting it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here. Hi, Greg. How you doing? Uh-oh. How you doing, Missy? Life treating you well today, Gray? She just had some salmon, so she's happy. She's a happy camper. She's a happy camper. All right, that's enough of that. There we go. Turn around. There we go. She's so funny. But this is fun, you guys. It kind of, kind of, um, you know, it's just fun not to do on paper. It's kind of fun to play with canvas. It's kind of a different thing for us. I totally went crooked. We don't care. Still doesn't look bad. Like this. I love it. You can see the material and the, you know, isn't that pretty? I just love this. I love how it feels. This is too cool for school, fool. Okay. There's Dos. Dos, I'm going to get one more big one out of here. Gracie, are you on my template? I think you are. No, you're not. Sorry, I couldn't quite... Well, that was Siri. <laughs> that was funny. I said Gracie and Siri thought I said Siri. Funny. Here, let's just go like this. Let's just go like that. Or let's not, because I want it to be long. Never mind that. I want it to be the same length as the others. You could actually put the hole there where it's supposed to be, but I'm winging it. Again, not caring too terribly much. Let's get this. So these will be fun to add to your swaps instead of a regular ATC. Somebody will get a canvas ATC. How fun is that? I ask you. I don't think I've ever gotten a canvas ATC. Like ever. So yeah. Let's do something a little, something, something a little different. I'll cut that in a minute. Let me get this off here. These would be fun to sew, uh, sew around, but I'm not going to because I don't trust my sewing machine needle. I just don't. That looks actually straight, so I'm not going to deal. I might have just... There we go. Isn't that cool? Did I do it? I did it short anyway. Look at I cut it off. What else? Oh, and this one says wisdom right there. I might end up cutting those off. But, or not. I don't care. 
I love these. Let's do a couple of small ones now. If I can find the template, because I know for a fact Gracie's laying on that template. Let's use this template right here. Let's just do a couple of these now. Have these in the stash. Fun to give away. Right? I think. Really cute. Super, super fun. They don't even actually need to be, um, you know, embellished. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't. I mean, I'd put a little tassel on there or something, maybe darken around the edges. We could do that. But I just think they're cute the way they are. I seriously do. Let's do another one. Super cute, if I don't say so myself. Sorry, Gray. What don't you like? What happened just now? What happened to you? What happened to you just now? Did I get in your space? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, this scissors works fine, so don't try to trip and do anything else, you guys. This is just great. So ATC, canvas ATCs and canvas tags, guys. It's a new, it's a new thing to me. It's a new, new fun idea. Look at that. I love it. Love it. I'm sure it's been done before, but I haven't seen it. So if I say new, I mean new to me. Okay, you need to turn your little tail around and sit like that if you want to join me, kid. cat she is such a cat she is so funny crazy you're trippy you're a trippy kitty she's like oh It's a nice shine from the, it's got the canvasy, uh, you know, back, you know, texture. It's got the shine from the, um, well, from the Inca Gold and also from the uh, Mod Podge. So it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let's try to get one more out of here. I don't even care if it's a little off that side. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> and I thought I'd give you guys a break from my mixed media dolls, or my whimsical girls. <laughs> yeah. I'm having fun with them, though. I hope you are as well. I gotta show one of these to Lauren. She's like, Mom, that's gonna be interesting. What are you doing? I said, I'm making tags. And she's like, What do you mean? I go, I'll show you. So now she'll understand. Oh, that's cute. That turned out just fine. Just fine. I don't say it's for myself. So there we go. We've got tags and we've got canvas tags you guys aren't those fun wouldn't that be fun to like put on a painting you know that you're for sale i mean you know and add a little extra something something i don't know i 
just like them. All right, now let's just cut some ATCs out of this. So what are ATCs? Okay, they're, uh, what, two and a half by three and a half? I'm going to grab one of my ATCs that I've recently done. And, yeah, this is fine because I was looking to make sure there's no great big dots. I'd rather have them not have the great big dots. So will that fit? Let's go this way. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to decorate. I should decorate one, shouldn't I, you guys? We'll figure something out. I'll decorate one. Maybe. <laughs> Where's my pencil? It's right in front of me, right? It's... Yeah, I kind of wanted to put some ink around it and see what it looks like. You know? Gracie, you're such a love bug. She's just happy. She had some salmon with her dinner. I don't put anything on it, so it's pretty plain. I don't know what the side's going to look like on the other side. Fine. It'll be fine. And you guys, save your scraps. This one's got a little tear in it. I don't care. I'll keep that for me or something. Um, save your scraps for your fatty patty. Okay? Or whatever you call your fat notebook. I don't know if these aren't going to be perfect, but we don't care. Because remember, it's me, right? Oh, so this is a little lower, so I should put that side a little bit lower. So it fits in your... There we go. Well, hello. That's cool. I'd like to round that out. But not for now. And they're not perfectly square, and that's fine. I think rounding them will make it look less uneven. And, of course, decorating them. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I love these better than regular ATCs, you guys. I'm not lying. I am not. I just love how they look and feel. I think I like canvas, you guys. I think I like canvas. I think I like canvas a lot. Look at that. Look at that. She can hold them for us. Here, Gracie, you hold the canvas for us? There we go. <laughs> this one's kind of neat. It's got like a piece of, just a one little piece of right there. Gracie, what are you doing? Are you just letting me abuse you like that? You're so good. Here, I don't want to abuse you. Here. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. I have a whole other thing, but she's laying on it, and I don't want to... Um, to disturb her highness. Oh, excuse me. And so then I'm going to just save these pieces for Fatty Patty or other projects. So, but what I'd like to do is I really would like to cut around this. Aha, uh -huh, right here. Let's see how this does on canvas. I have no idea. So I want to use the one fourth incher. Like this one, yeah. Let's see. Oh, fine. You just have to trim it. Yeah, it's fine. It's perfect. Yeah. And just trim it with your little scissor. Then we will go around it with some ink. It's perfect. Hello. I love it. That looks better, don't you think? Do the same with these four. One fourth inch. I take that back. Nope. Yep. One fourth inch. Green. What a doing. What a doing. What a doing, Green. Aw, this is my girl. I wish you guys could feel how fluffy and soft she is. She really takes good care of herself. You know, I've seen cats before that are really just scraggle pusses. I'm like, that's not that cat know how to. Self clean. <laughs> of course, she's an indoor cat. It's a lot easier for her. But with that long hair, I don't know how she does it. She stays pretty clean. So, what do you think? I love it. Uh oh, yeah, that's right. One fourth, one fourth inch, round corner rounder. 
This one's got a little rip in it. I don't care. That'll be mine for my collection. Because I, when I, usually when I do... Oh, that reminds me. i got to put some of those John Lennons in my collection. When I do ATCs, I usually keep one for me. You know. I do. I try to. So that'll be, that'll be mine. Now I just got to figure out what do I want to put on here today. I don't want to put much. I love the background so much. I think I'm just going to use words. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I have some words. I'm going to put some words on it, but I do want to go around it with some ink. Or even paint. Whatever. You can do the same thing you do with any of your ATCs, right, guys? I think so. This one needs a little bit more. This is fun. I love it. All right, so there's our four ATCs and our huge, beautiful, I love the tags, guys, not gonna lie, loving on the tags a lot, a lot, a lot. Let me bring it down a little bit so you can see. Crazy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I don't know if this is the right one. No, it is. Hmm. Hold on, guys. So see, aren't these pretty? Like, these are really cool. I hope you like them as much as I do. So fun. They just, they move. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Fun, fun, fun. So take some string. I got the perfect string for that. Let me grab some string for one of these tags. It's got that today, too. Where did I put it? Oh, it's pretty, pretty good. There's some string. Oh. There's some letters. some words that I got off of this thing. First off, let's just put some string on here. Actually, let's go around it with some ink. We'll do this one. We'll go around it with some ink. I'll go ahead and use this Distress ink. I think that would be enough or should we use black? I think black. Let's just try this. And that might be just plenty. Look at that's enough. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. This is brushed corduroy. And it's just right. You know, not too much. Just enough. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's make a little tassel. We'll do a tassel for this one. Maybe add some words to it. Maybe that'll be enough and we don't have to do one of those because you'll see. You'll get the gist, right? You'll get the gist. Tags, ATCs, same diff, in my opinion. Not much difference. Not much difference. I don't know. You probably say, there's a big difference, but really, I think ATCs are just longer, come on now, are just longer tags with a tassel <laughs> right let's get some of this fuzzy stuff this looks fun somebody gave this to me and i love it actually i mean it came from a thrift store but i'm killing it aren't i there we go one of these and how about one of those this color too while we're at it while we're at it i wonder if that'll all fit through that little hole that i made Hopefully, you make a bigger hole, always, so, always make a bigger hole. Oh no, it all came through, because remember, it's it's not going to rip, that's the beauty of it, because it's um, canvas. That was kind of, kind of a lot but for this little tag, but that's alright, I like it. So cute! 
All right, well, that's that. But I do want to actually do... You can add some beads on here, you know, tie some beads on it. And uh, But I actually do want to do... I just want to, for the heck of it, let's just put some words on Say that we did that. We'll do the one that I'm going to keep. Because I'm not sure how I'm actually going to do them all. This one. It's got a little rip on it. Yeah, if I had four of those, that's okay. We'll do this one. But I will go around it with the ink. Again. Because I just want to get that white edge off. You know, not... No other reason, only that I like to get the white edge off, and it adds a little something. Something, something. Gracie's watching so intently. Mom, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm inking. You've seen me do this a few million times. Well, not really, because I'm not a huge anchor. Okay, so there's that. Let's find something. Knowledge is the food of the soul. Kind of like that one. Ooh, I like this one. Today I have grown taller from walking in the trees. That's a lot of words, but that's by Carl Baker. Let's see if we can get that to stick on there with Mod Podge. That's going to be something I'm not sure. I shouldn't leave his name on there, but I'm not going to. April 18th. Gosh. Oh, we're in August. What am I thinking? Okay. Today, I have grown taller. We're going to leave these because they're... I usually like to cut them all in the words, but not today. So, we're going to go ahead and ink these up. Probably make a big mess of them. But I don't care. How many times do I say I don't care when I do videos, you guys? Like, a lot, huh? Because I just... Um, I just want to emphasize that it's okay not to be perfect. You know? Excuse me. And so that's what I hope that I get across. That I just want you guys to have fun. And not stress it and try to be perfect. Like some of the people we see online, you know, they're they're just, they have a lot more talent, you know, or whatever. They've been doing it longer, whatever. And, um, but that doesn't mean that we can't um, have fun too. I wish this was a little darker. Maybe I can smoosh it around. Well, I know what I'll do in a second. Hold on. Let me just get this going. I bet I could have used ink tents, you guys. See, just try whatever you got. This was handy, and I was being kind of lazy. But I don't mind the messiness, actually. It looks kind of good. I like it. I just wish I this was a little darker. The paper is kind of white, you know. But maybe we can make it darker. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. And since this is... Um, canvas, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Aileen's because I think it'll work. Fabri-Tac would work too, but I'm not a big fan. I'm a big fan of Aileen's. That's what I'm a big fan of. And I bet Jot would work too, but I'm not positive. So, Oh, hello. That's a lot. I was probably going to make that bubble, but I hope not. Uh, I just want to go straight. Today. What you doing, Gray? I'm just making a mess today. Same as every day. Nothing new here. Nothing new here, cat. Nothing new. Nothing new, sweetie. She had some salmon for dinner, too. And anytime I have tuna, she gets the canned juice. It's usually just water because I don't get the oil kind. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of like a test uh, group anyway. Because I'm just trying to see how things actually behave on canvas. I don't know. So we're learning. We are learning. So we'll see how this actually behaves. I think it's going to be okay. And I think I'm going to go over it with Mod Podge a little pinch, but I, I don't want to because I really don't want it to buckle. But I feel like I have to, so let's do it. Let's go over it a little bit with the Mod Podge. 
and um, yeah. I like it. So that would be my ATC. So, isn't that cute? Nice little hummingbird out there. All right. So let's let that dry. Um, I'm just gonna leave it white, maybe. Not sure. But I just wanted to test, so we're testing. We're testing. Testing is good. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. So there you have it. There's a tag, a couple bunch of tags, and some ATCs, different size tags. I love these big ones, you guys. Fun, fun, fun. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and that you'll make... Um, Try it, you know, go buy some old used canvas at the uh, thrift store or wherever you find used canvas uh, old art. And this looks nothing like the Naked City Lady that we saw when we first started out today. So I really, really enjoy this. I hope you do too. Um, I'm going to have to play a little bit more with them to see exactly, you know, what, what we can do on here uh, as far as Embelly goes. But, you know, this is sticking pretty good with Aileen's. And I think that after the Aliens does dry, though, I am going to hit it with some Mod Podge because I think it needs a little bit more shine. But I love the texture. I love the texture. I just think the texture is really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and are going to try it. So let me know if you do, okay? All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye, guys.